The Grindel R31 carbine is a very lightweight, compact carbine that allows you to have 30 rounds of 22 Magnum confined within the pistol grip. Hey guys, this is Mike M. Bell 556, and today we're going to look at the Grindel R31. This is a semi-automatic 30 round 22 Magnum carbine. This gun is the forerunner of the newly released kel CMR30. And so I wanted to spend a little time just talking about the history of this gun and this company. Engineer and gun designer by the name of George Kelgren. He came to the United States in the early 80s. Initially he worked with Intratech. He did design work for them. And then he left Intratech and started his own company, Grindel Incorporated, in 1987. Now one of the things that he introduced to us was this Grindel P30. And the unique feature of this gun was that it had a 30 round double stack magazine that fit in the pistol grip of the gun. And so you had a semi-automatic pistol that held 30 rounds of 22 Magnum. This was the Grindel P30. Now this gun isn't particularly attractive. It's a straight blowback operation and it has quite the reputation for being very finicky about the ammunition that it will use. This gun was introduced in about 1990 and unfortunately the unconstitutional Clinton assault weapons ban and high capacity magazine ban went into effect in 94 and this company whose main calling card was this high capacity 30 round magazine went under shortly after that. Not too long after the P30 pistol was introduced, the carbine version of this gun was introduced. This was the R31 and the subject of today's video. This also used the exact same 30 round double stack magazine and the lower receiver of the weapon is almost identical to the lower receiver of the pistol. Now this gun, like we said, is essentially the forerunner of the kel CMR30 that's just been released. This gun is also a straight blowback operation, but because it's a carbine, it has a much heavier bolt this gun has a reputation for being very reliable with a wide variety of ammunition and I found that to be true in the guns that I've owned. After Grindel went under, George Kelgan opened up another company, Keltec. And initially, during the assault weapons ban, they concentrated on either small handguns that didn't need a high capacity magazine or they did develop several carbines that used pre-existing high-capacity magazines. Then, after the expiration of the assault weapons ban, he already had experience with the 22 Magnum 30-round magazines, and he introduced the kel PMR. This is another 22 Magnum 30-round double-stack magazine. But to make this gun more reliable and safe, they developed a what they call a hybrid system. This uses both a lock breech and blowback hybrid type of action. And this gun, compared to the original Grindel P30, is a lot less finicky about the ammunition it uses, a lot more reliable. It also is designed in a way that's a lot more appealing to the eye. And this has become a very popular gun. And they've just recently introduced the carbine version of this gun. We're going to look at the predecessor of the CMR30, the Grindel R31. So Grindel started with the gangly looking P30 when they hit the market with their 30 round high capacity magazine. Now, the new kel magazines are different. They are not interchangeable with the Grindel magazines. 
So the P30 was a 30 round magazine that had a straight blowback, was not particularly reliable and was very finicky about which kind of ammunition it can use. What I found is this gun is a lot of fun and is very reliable with 40 grain full metal jacket and just about anything else does not run reliably in this gun. Now the R31 carbine is a much more reliable weapon. There's a lot more mass in the bolt, which makes the cycling of the 22 Magnum a lot more reliable in semi-automatic. This is a very light carbine. We're gonna look at this. I'm really curious how the mechanism of this carbine compares to the new kel CMR. We'll have to look at that when we can get our hands on one. The shell that covers the mechanism of this gun is in two halves. You remove it by loosening up the nut in the front of this gun and then sliding the halves forward. You can see they just come off and they're really very thin, lightweight, and just really serve to uh, protect your hands from the hot metal and uh, protect you from the smoke and powder but they're very lightweight. And then the gun itself has a large bolt. The stock extends. And I think we'll actually be able to fire this gun with these uh, halves off. I wouldn't recommend that. We're gonna keep our face away from the mechanism as we do this, but that'll uh, allow you to see the operation of the gun as it's being fired. Basically what this lacks compared to the new CMR is the extruded aluminum body with the rails as compared to this fairly light cheap plastic covering that goes on this gun. So let me go over the field stripping and disassembly of this gun. You need to remove the outer casing the recoil spring and rod are held to the rear of the receiver. It comes out very easily. The bolt comes back. The bolt comes out of the receiver by rotating the bolt and then lifting it out of the receiver. And basically at this point the gun is filled stripped. Very simple design. Here you can see the bolt with the added mass. So just to confirm and look at the weights, we have a fully loaded 30 round magazine. And the magazine with 30 rounds of ammunition weighs in at 5.8 ounces. We'll put the magazine in the carbine and then the carbine with a scope And a loaded magazine, four pounds and nine and a half ounces. The Grindel R31 carbine is a very lightweight, compact carbine that allows you to have 30 rounds of 22 Magnum confined within the pistol grip. The Grendel R31. It's the vintage forerunner to the new CMR30 by Caltech. It's compact, lightweight, and a lot of firepower. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.